Hey there guys, it's me, uh, El Movie Master, with a uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS update. I haven't done one of these since last year. And when I did it last year, it was in the movie room, which is in front of me, but right now it's very disorganized. I've kind of neglected it a little bit. I'm going to reorganize it, and I'm going to be doing videos there. And I'm actually going to showcase you the collection, once and for all, how it's set up. I'm going to be so lazy, I'm going to do videos. You're going to be seeing videos on this channel uh, at least once a week. At least once a week you should be seeing videos. I'm going to be bringing back a segment called Franchise Mondays and Random Review Fridays. And on top of that, if you want to see other videos where I break down movies uh, in depth with a friend, you can go to the Dumb Down channel. All of that is on the comment section down below. So without further ado, I want to mention all the stuff that I have. And you know it's funny because I look at DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHS, and as the years pass by, it's just um, streaming is taking over. Everyone loves streaming. It's so easy to find movies today on any format. And you know, not too long ago, it was so expensive. Just ten years ago, I remember it was so expensive to get DVDs and Blu-rays, especially Blu-rays. But now it's like the only thing that I can think of that's and it's not even that expensive is uh, 4K. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of years you're going to see 4Ks in the $5 bin at Walmart or Best Buy. Anyway, let's start. First movie I have here I got from a friend who has a room that looks like a VHS store. He transformed his room uh, and sells VHS and DVDs and Blu-rays. And I got this from him, this movie, Overexposed. I got it for 3 bucks. He price tags them individually like if it were a video store. So... I don't know anything about this movie. All, I just read it and it says, When you're a big name soap star, everyone wants a piece of you. And I'm like, this looks sleazy, dirty. And it says here at the bottom, a sexy drama comedy. Los Angeles Times. So just those two things alone are, are funny. Uh, at one point this was from Blockbuster Video. So that's pretty neat. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, yeah, here's the be, uh, be friendly, uh, be a friend, rewind when you reach the end. Uh, I remember if, when you used to go to Blockbuster, if you didn't return this uh, rewind, you would have to pay. Uh, I think it was like 50 cents or something like that. And it's funny because I, I remember when I would go to Blockbuster, they used to have like four VHS rewinders just there. It's not a big deal. They could just rewind it themselves. But I get it. You know, you should be a, a grown-up and rewind your VHS tapes. So, uh, next one I have here is uh, Mile 22. Um, I heard this movie got, like, mixed reviews when it first came out. Uh, not many people liked it. But it has um, a lot of actors that I like. Um, you know, it has um, this guy who was in The Raid. I forget his name. Um, it has John Malkovich. Lauren Cohen, Randa Rousey, um, and, you know, I like Mark Wahlberg's movies. This one I got online. Um, I don't like buying movies that much online. I like rather buying them on the wild. But I got it online for a pretty decent price. So, Mile 22. Uh, I got this one uh, on sale. And this just came out. And I, well, not really on sale. But what I ended up doing was using a gift card. So it ended up coming up for pretty cheap. And that is Three from Hell, which is the Rob Zombie movie, which is a sequel to uh, The Devil's Rejects. Um, many people don't like House of a Thousand Corpses. I like it. I think the first hour or so of that movie is pretty good. Then it gets kind of like crazy and it turns into a Rob Zombie music video. So, Three from Hell, I got this on DVD because the Blu-ray was more expensive. So, this one came out pretty, pretty cheap in comparison. Um, and when it comes to, like, horror movies, for the most part, I'm okay with the DVD copy. I know people, like, if they can't, if they don't have the Blu-ray or the 4K, they go crazy. I mostly get the, the Blu-ray if it's, like, a, an action movie or, you know, if it's a James Bond movie or a Marvel movie, I'll get that on Blu-ray. But for the most part, I'm okay with DVD. So, uh, this one I got online. Uh, actually, the the next uh, one, two, three, four, five movies are movies from my childhood that I upgraded from VHS to DVD for the only reason that my the, the copies were already pretty old. They still played, but I wanted to see these on DVD at least. So I, I 
use the things that I buy until they no longer work, or at least, you know, I feel like it's time to upgrade. So I got here uh, Inspector Gadget. Uh, I remember watching the cartoon a lot as a kid, and I remember seeing this movie and thinking it was pretty neat. I'm pretty sure if I watch it now, I won't feel the same, but uh, there's a lot of movies from my childhood that I can still watch with that same, uh, those, uh, the same eyes of a kid, you know, enjoy it. Um, and it has uh, Matthew Broderick, who I like uh, a lot in, in a lot of his movies. Um, there's another movie from the 90s that I was watching the other day that he's in it. And it hasn't aged well, but I still like it for how unintentionally bad it is, and that's Godzilla. So yeah, Inspector Gadget. I also got Inspector Gadget 2, which I've never seen, which is not with Matthew Broderick. It's with another actor, uh, French Stewart. So these were really cheap. I think these were like $3.99 or $4.99. On Amazon I got that on Black Friday um, and they were very cheap I got life-size I remember seeing this movie on the Disney Channel a lot and I'm pretty sure it's on Disney Plus or one of those things uh, I don't use Disney Plus at most I use Netflix um, and it, not even that much I only use it like every now and then I'll use it for like two months and I already know what I'm gonna watch and then I just cancel it uh, I'm, I'm big on physical media so, yeah, Life Size, I remember liking this movie quite a bit when I was a kid. And these last two I used to adore. And I can't wait to rewatch these. Elmo and Grouch Land and Polly. Uh, Polly is a movie that I rewatched recently on VHS, but the copy was already kind of dying out. And it's, um, it's a really lovely story about a bird, uh, the friendship between a bird and several characters, especially this little girl right here. And him trying to find her after he gets lost. Love this movie. Um, and Elmo and Grouch Line I used to love a lot. I used to play this tape a lot. I remember having it recorded from HBO back in the late 90s. So those are that. Then I have here a movie that is very, very uh, graphic. Um, it's called The House That Jack Built. This is from the director Lars von Trier. Um, if you're not familiar with the director, his movies are they're kind of artsy and they're a bit pretentious. But I like some of them. The, there's one that I don't like at all. It's called Melancholia. That one I thought had no sense of plot or direction. But this one I liked quite a bit. Um, I probably won't be rewatching it anytime soon, but I liked it. It's basically Matt Dillon plays a guy who is a serial killer and he gets away with a lot of murders and he, he notices that he can get away with them so he becomes very sloppy. And there's also this like uh, intertwined story with um, like hell and conversations with um, or someone who's taking him to hell kind of like Dante's Inferno. and. I enjoyed this movie. Um, it's very hard to watch in certain scenes, but um, it has Uma Thurman in it for, I want to say, like 10 minutes, and her scenes are pretty strong. Uh, yeah, like this is what I mean by Dante's Inferno. If you look at the background, this scene happens in the movie, and it's very, very odd. It's very well shot and very graphic. Um, I highly recommend it if you want to see like a horror movie mixed in with surreal elements. So, got that one on eBay. The next one I also got online, and I got it with a gift card, and that one is Ready or Not. I haven't seen this yet, but I saw the trailers, and a lot of friends told me this was pretty good. And I like the actress. She's in another movie that I bought on Big Lots, and I'm going to mention it in a little bit. And she was also in a Netflix movie that I enjoyed quite a bit called The Babysitter. So I'm going to be watching this one pretty soon. I know a lot of people love getting uh, certain horror movies on Blu-ray. I do, I, I like getting them every now and then and if I find them for cheap, but the DVD was a lot um, cheaper, so. This one I got as a gift from a friend. Um, she's been telling me to watch this show for the longest, and that is Westworld Season 1. Uh, I've seen the movies, Westworld and Future World, um, with Yul Brynner, and I remember um, that that was actually based on a book by Michael Crichton, but I've never seen the show, and everyone tells me that it's very good. And HBO produces a lot of good shows, like, you know, Game of Thrones. With an exception of the ending of Game of Thrones, which was very disappointing. Uh, this one I got also with a gift card, and it was It Chapter 2. 
this one I got, this one I had to get on Blu-ray. So this is an exception. Like, certain, like, I got the first one on a Black Friday last year, I believe, on Blu-ray. So it would be weird to have this one on DVD and the other one on Blu-ray. So I got this, this one on Blu-ray, even though it's a little bit more. And it brings a digital code. Um, if I ever open it, I might give away the digital code. So, but for now, I haven't opened it. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to watch it. But if I do, if I do plan to give out a digital code, I'll let you guys know. So, uh, next one, next couple of movies I got from uh, Big Lots. So, Big Lots, usually around October, more like November, December, they put out a lot of movies for cheap for like $1.88, $2.88, $3. And some of them are obscure horror movies or sometimes are TV shows. And I found quite a lot of cool stuff. So, uh, first one I found was Forget Me Not for $1.88. I don't know anything about this movie, uh, but just a cover caught my eye, and it says, Some Friendships Never Die, so whatever that means. Uh, a lot of weird stuff going on in the back cover, but for $1.88, you know, if this movie ends up being trash, you know, I'll just give it to a friend, or I'll donate it, or trade it, one of the two. There's a store uh, by me, well, not by me, it's actually about an hour away, where I can, you know, trade it if I want to, because there's not that many video stores left. Next one I got also for $1.88, and it's called Sand Serpents. So this one um, I got because it's, it's the Man Eater series, and I have some of these movies, and I was missing this one. So it looks really ridiculous, a lot of like cheap sci-fi channel style CGI, but I'm pretty sure we can have fun you know, with these kind of movies. Uh, Lovely Molly, got this for $2.88, also... Has a similar cover to Forget Me Not. Okay, let's put these two together and they kind of have a similar cover. Yeah, look, kind of similar. So this one, 288, and it says from the makers of the Blair Witch Project and the Lord of the Rings. And it says it's guaranteed to haunt you right here. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe it will haunt me. I don't know. Next one I got is Garm Wars, The Last Druid. Um, cover looked pretty cool, $1.88, and it has Lance Erickson, and Kevin Durand, and, um, Melanie St. Pierre. Um, I got this because of the cover, honestly, and it says from the director of Ghost in the Shell, and I like Ghost in the Shell, so, um, maybe it's gonna be alright, you never know. Next one is also a Maneater series, it's High Plains Invaders, got this for $1.88 at Big Lots. Um, again, it has like sci-fi channel style CGI, and I'm pretty sure it's not that great, but you never know, it might be fun. I like those, you know, kind of movies every now and then. Uh, this one I also got for $1.88. It's called Hard Ride to Hell. It has a nice slip cover. It has no actors I can think of. And Miguel Ferrer sounds like a, a very familiar name, but other than that, who else is in this movie? Hmm... So yeah, this is a pretty neat cover, and it's unrated. I remember when this was a trend, unrated and uncut, director's thing, whatever. Um, next one is The Tall Man. Got this for $2.88. Has Jessica Biel. It says, Fear Takes a New Shape. It says, Cleverly Written and Morbidly Gorgeous. Tour de Force performance by Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel is beautiful. So I, I honestly just got this because it has Jessica Biel in it. So yeah. Uh, next one, I got... Um, I wasn't planning on buying this one. I think I had purchased it at one point and I sold it maybe. So uh, a friend of our, every, every now and then, me and my friends, we do movie nights. You know, we do two movies that are similar. Usually one of them ends up being bad and the other one ends up being good. So we did Krampus and I found it for five bucks at uh, Big Lots. And uh, I'm glad I bought this because this is actually pretty good. Um, people tell me that the director of this movie did um, the latest Godzilla and also Trick or Treat. Happens, I've seen the new Godzilla. I liked it. It's you know it's kind of the human characters are pretty stupid, but it has you know your typical Godzilla moments. And I haven't seen Trick or Treat yet. A friend gave it to me like two years ago for Christmas, and I still haven't seen it. But I like this movie and the twist was pretty creepy. It almost gave me nightmares. Next one I got at a $5 bin at Best Buy. People forget that Best Buy also has a $5 bin and a $3 bin. And 
I got this one, Mighty Joe Young. Mighty, Mighty Joe Young. Used to love this movie as a kid. Um, I didn't even know there was a DVD for it, so that's pretty cool. Five bucks for that one. Next one up, it's um, Angel Has Fallen, the most recent one in the Fallen series. And I think they're going to make three more, because these movies are not done for that much money. So we expect to see more of Gerard Butler and uh, Morgan Freeman. It's funny, because when the first one came out, Olympus Has Fallen, there was like an imitation, uh, like, like a like a copycat movie of it called White House Down. And um, I, don't, I don't think I ever saw White House Down, but I did see Olympus Has Fallen. I enjoyed it. It was kind of like a Die Hard style movie. An Angel Has Fallen, haven't seen yet. A friend of mine borrowed it and he told me it was pretty good. Okay, so here's another one that I got online that I didn't mention that was from my childhood, and that's uh, Richie Rich. I had this on VHS, but the VHS tape was already kind of dying out. I, and I probably played it a lot when I was a kid. Um, so this movie is one of the Macaulay Culkin's best up there with uh, Home Alone. And speaking of the director of Krampus, here I have Godzilla. This one I bought earlier in the year, and, it, and, it, and I remember I bought this like weeks after Godzilla had come out on Blu-ray, and they had a section, like a Warner Brothers section with Wonder Woman, um, Justice League, and even Godzilla for $9.99 for the DVD. And I thought, that's a steal, man. I'm just going to take the DVD. So, yeah, those are the ones that I've gotten so far. But I have more. Next I'm going to mention here are two box sets that I found online. I was I, I hope I was hoping that I would find these one day in the wild, but I looked online and you know I used to have these. I remember having this VHS in freshman year in high school. Uh, someone was getting rid of it, and I'm like, sure. And I think uh, I recorded a couple of stuff for him. This is early days, you know, where there was not the internet wasn't what it was today. You would record stuff and you would trade tapes. So um, this Bruce Lee collection, I remember having it. He was getting rid of it, and I and I kept it for a long time, and then I think I got rid of it, and I regretted that regret the decision, and I ended up finding this online. And it has two real Bruce Lee movies, and one of them is Chinese Connection and Fist of Fury, and I used to play these tapes all the time. So I have that nostalgic feeling of wanting to watch these movies as I remember them. So, in that grainy VHS uh, 4x3 format. And it brings three other Bruce exploitation movies that are so bad. They're so bad, but they're very enjoyable. One of them is The Legend of Bruce Lee. The other one's called A Dragon Story. It is trying... It's funny because this is shot before um, the movie called Dragon, A Bruce Lee Story. But they're trying to fool you by saying A Dragon Story. So then you have the young Bruce Lee. All the covers are pretty cool. Like you have here Chinese Connection. They're all released through Good Times. So they're in SLP mode. But, you know, Fist of Fury. And mind you, I have the Bruce Lee movies on several formats because I'm a big fan. The Legend of Bruce Lee. Dragon. A Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee, A Dragon Story. I was about to say the other movie, which is the one with... I forget his name. He was um, He did the biopic. Um, I remember the guy's name, the young Bruce Lee. So I, I like the set because it reminds me of the it's exactly identical one. Whoever kept this kept it in very good conditions, in better condition than the one I had when I was in high school. And speaking of which, I also have here the real Bruce Lee VHS set, which brings all the ones that were released through CBS Fox. And I bought this one also online. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to. But they're in very good condition. You have here um, Fists of Fury. Chinese Connection. I remember when I was like 11, I saw my first Bruce Lee movie. And Blockbuster had these CBS Fox tapes. And I remember very clearly my dad taking me and we saw like three Bruce Lee movies that night on Friday night. And we rented... Um, Chinese Connection, uh, Fist of Fury, and Game of Death. So it brings back memories. So Chinese Connection, um, Return of the Dragon, and uh, Game of Death, which is, you know, not a real Bruce Lee movie. It's actually the first Bruce Ploitation movie, when you come to think of it. But I still enjoy it. So let's keep going. 
I'm going to go a little bit quicker now so this video doesn't end up being too long. Uh, General Commander. This one I did pay full price for because when it comes to Steven Seagal, I have to pay full price. So General Commander. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. But um, from the trailers, and I saw a review by Mr. Gigi, who's a pretty cool YouTuber who does like movie reviews, and uh, I laughed my ass off at that review, so I definitely want to watch this. So that's that one. Now I pay like $14.99, I believe. Uh, here are a couple of other um, Big Lots DVDs. Uh, Day of the Mummy, <laughs> uh, $2.88. This is probably trash, but... Uh, I love me some trashy movies every now and then, so. Uh, Seattle Superstorm, $1.88. I'm also a sucker for destruction movies, even though I can predict the plot every single time. Uh, Blair Witch, I got this from The Doom Room, which I mentioned before where I got the movie overexposed. Uh, I've never seen this one. I remember, this one, I've only seen... And this is blasphemy. I've only seen Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Project 2. I've never seen the original. So, but I, I eventually will. Um, well, I've seen parts of it, but I've never seen it completely. So, but I will. Uh, Ultimate Justice. I got this for $1.88 also. It's with Mark DeCoscos. I tried watching a little bit of it, and it wasn't that great. So... Uh, the Gallows. This, I got it at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had this for a dollar. If you can go to your nearest Dollar Tree, they're, they're having some really good sales with some um, Blu-rays and DVDs for a dollar. Gallows, I never saw it when it came out, but apparently there's a sequel out there called Gallows Act 2. So, I got this one also at Dollar Tree. Singularity with um, uh, John Cusack. Him and Bruce Willis don't give a crap anymore. Uh, this one, it says Kmart $5, but I got this from the Doom Room. Uh, my friend's video store in his house brings demonic toys one through three ginger dead man one through three and killjoy one through three a lot of trashy horror movies that i'm pretty sure i'll enjoy got this movie called jerusalem for a dollar at uh, dollar tree don't know anything about it uh mr nobody i got it for three bucks at a video store that was closing down i've already closed down this was around march or april of this year and I got quite a bit of movies from them, and I'll probably mention them later. There, there, there might be some around here from that store. But this is the first one that came uh, to mind was this one, Mr. Nobody. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Triloquist. This one I got from the Doom Room video. So it was like $2. Looks pretty funny. That's from the Dimension Extreme, so some of those movies are alright. I uh, got this one also from the Doom Room video. Sleepless ended up being four bucks, and at one point it was previously viewed for five ninety nine in Hollywood Video. So um, I got this because it said uh, from Dario Argento, and so he directed this movie. Some of his later movies ended up being kind of trashy. So this is like a, a '90s, actually no, 2001. So this must be like a great little gem, of trash, but you know. So here we have. Um, Dick, um, I got this when I went to Philadelphia this year. I went to this really neat uh, thrift store that had quite a lot of VHS DVDs and even laser discs, and I ended up buying this one for like twenty-five cents. So I remember seeing parts of this movie on the Movie Channel in the nineties, so somewhere in the late nineties. So these other tapes here I also got from Doom Room Video. Um, I got this one called The Stranger. Has Boney Bedella and Peter Reiger. I don't know who they are, but the cover looks pretty cool, and it was three bucks. Mm -hmm. Got here a movie called Gargantua. Terror has a new name. Looks really cool. Uh, looks kind of trashy. It was two bucks. And I have here another one called The Progeny. From the creator of the, the creators of Reanimator, this kind of cover is pretty cool, and it was uh, three bucks. Uh, got this one also from the Doom Room video, but he did like a sale at a, outside of a movie theater, and it's called The Night Got Screamed, and this has a nice like big VHS cover, 
So it's from Transworld Entertainment. It looks pretty cool. I think I paid a little more for this one. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this one, but it looks really cool. And it's actually a rare title. And at one point, this tape um, was $69.95. That's crazy, if you can see that. So uh, I also got this one. This one I got online. And this Bruce Lee Fights Back from the Grave. I have this on DVD, and I also have it in several 50-pack uh, uh, DVDs for Milk Creek. But I wanted the VHS tape. So, because uh, I remember owning the VHS tape when I was a kid. And believe it or not, the first Bruce exploitation movie I saw was that one. Thinking that, I was, that it was Bruce Lee. But mind you, I was like six years old. So, it wasn't until like five years or later or so I ended up watching my first real Bruce Lee movie. Got this one called Kuroshi. Uh, I also got this one Doom Room Video. He didn't put a price on this one. So I don't know how much I got this for. Probably three bucks. So here's the movie that stars the actress who was in um, Ready or Not. And that is Mayhem. Really dug this movie. Two dollars and eighty-eight. That's a steal with a nice slip cover. Uh, I ended up seeing this movie first um, at a friend's house. Was it at a friend's house? No. He let me borrow his copy of it. He ended up seeing it in a theater, a special screening that they did at this place called O Cinema. And this is really cool. It, it reminds me a little bit of Belko Experiment, if you've seen that movie. But basically these people are working in this place and this virus goes out and they start going crazy. I really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend that one. Uh, I also got, there are actually a couple of movies that I got also at Big Lots. I shop at Big Lots quite a bit. Uh, Doggy Dog, $2.88. This movie is so bad. It's great. <laughs> it has uh, Willem Dafoe and Nick Cage just hamming it up. It's one of the most craziest stuff I've seen in a movie. Uh, I got this western called Gold. I'm a big fan of western, so any western usually entertains me, even if it's bad. So this was $1.88 has no stars that I've ever heard of. I've got this John Travolta movie for $1.88 as well, Criminal Activities. Don't know anything about it. And I ended up repurchasing Equilibrium on DVD, and I had a hard time finding this DVD because um, all the versions that are available on Blu-ray are from Mill Creek or other companies, and they butchered the copy of it because it's on 177 aspect ratio when it was shot at 235 so if you want to see the real aspect ratio you have to get the dvd even on netflix it's in the wrong aspect ratio so make sure that when you buy it it does say 235 widescreen in the back so i got this one called the runner I got this for 299 at a place called cd trader it's one of the last remaining video stores in my neighborhood or in my area uh, i got pain and gain uh, I remember watching it for the first time and not being too big of a fan, but I do like Michael Bay. And I did like the new one that he released called Six Underground. Uh, here we have uh, Killing, Gunner, Killing Gunter. I got this at uh, Best Buy for $3.99. This movie was pretty bad, but I like Arnold and I like his movies. And the scenes that he's in, I enjoyed. The rest of the movie is not that great. Here I have two very, very bad uh, like Christian apocalyptic movies, but they're kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. One's called Apocalypse, and one's called Revelations. Uh, this one I got online. I didn't pay that much for it. And this one I got at uh, the Doom Room video store. So, I remember seeing uh, another one uh, here. I saw this one last night. And it's just as bad, or even worse than I remember. It's called The Omega Code. And this movie, um, you know, like a lot of it doesn't make much sense and it's you know, based on the biblical like a biblical code prophecy of the the antichrist uh, but i enjoyed it you know it's not great but i remember seeing this when i was a kid um i used to watch a lot of christian movies and i i, I still do every now and then so um if you know if you're into these kind of movies i do recommend the mega code the second one i remember actually being better here i have a vhs that i bought because i love this movie and it's a modern VHS tape called Drive. You can get this on Instagram in a place called Gel Tube Video. And um, it has a VHS inside, so I thought it was pretty cool to have a modern movie on tape. Got this also at Doom Room, Child of, Child of Darkness and Child of Light, and uh, Serial Mom. 
Never seen any of these. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this movie. Haven't heard anything about this, but the cover looked pretty cool. And the last two are uh, these two I got online. Silk and Silk 2. I got this one because on Red Letter Media, they were watching this movie and they hated it so much that they ended up using an emergency tape so they can actually review something. And I don't think this was that bad. It's, it's all right. You know, it's like a typical 80s action movie a, a la Miami Vice. Silk 2, on the other hand, is actually better. She's playing the same character, but this is actually probably more entertaining. So those are the highlights of the stuff that I got uh, this year. There's more stuff that I ended up getting, but it's mixed in. So, and um, as I was looking through them, I was like, did I get this this year or last year? So I wasn't really sure. But this is pretty much the highlights of the stuff that I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming this way for um, El Movie Master's channel, my channel. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Leave me your comments and thoughts and the suggestion or suggestions on the comment section down below. And until next time.